Hello, a very good evening to you now. Tonight, the Lionesses are in action once again in the Nations League. And on Friday night, they got back to winning ways. Okay, Karen Carney and Ian Wright. Did you believe me that time? Mm. They say I say it to everyone. It's not <laughs> <She> true. <does. laughs> she does. It's making it good to see England back to winning ways, Any? It was. To see us, like I say, score some more goals so then we can relax and maybe play some more football yeah. rather than constantly... This is the team that Serena Wiegmann has decided to pick. Uh, again, Serena Wiegmann is saying we've got to be more clinical and when you look at the stats, 23 shots, seven on target and one goal from that game. So perhaps that's their main aim. But a really good chance for Neil Charles as well, getting those back to ball as well, <laughs> left back or right back. The nation is important, but it's not just about finding those players for the future. It's also about protecting the players that you already have against fatigue as the WSL is now in full flow and, and perhaps the slightly more senior players and I say that very delicately but <laughs> you've got the likes of Millie Bright that you must protect <clears> because <throat> she's so vital to this side. It's true the Belgian manager Yves Sané also wants to try and get some of that form back that saw them beat the Netherlands in that opening group game. Those are the changes that he's made. They were quite dangerous on the counter-attack against England. Is that the kind of thing, Righty, that they need to try and... Just, she's amazing. Uh, really good to see her back. She does it on a massive stage as well at the Euros. Like, no better time to do it. Yeah, she... Coming back into Chelsea in the WSL, Emma Hayes is quite clearly managing her minutes carefully as well because this way it almost needed to happen in for the eyes of the world to be on it, yeah. for some action to be taken. First half between Alex Greenwood and Justina Bloom for Belgium. The game was stopped for about 13 minutes while Alex was down receiving medical attention. She was eventually stretched off the pitch. As soon as we get an update on Alex and her welfare, of course, we will let you know. But for now, all of our thoughts, everyone in the studio and everyone that works here, are with Alex. Speedy recovery, fingers crossed. We hope it's not as bad as it looks. It was really worrying at the time. The game carried on after about a 14-minute stoppage in the end. And then we saw lots of actually difficult because England now dropped down to third. They needed to finish top. If they had a chance of qualifying in the last couple of games, are going to be quite difficult. They've got to win those. Let's just show you the other game in the most uh, welcoming of atmospheres to go and play a game mm. in. But look, this is the position that they lead themselves in. They've made it very difficult. And while you're not putting chances away, we talk about the mistakes. There was some real sloppiness that ends up a Halloween fright for Serena Wiegmann's Lionesses in Belgium. For me and my three witches, oh. good night. <laughs> Next time. Oh.